I always knew music would be a huge element of the movie, but unlike, you know, I wasn't a kid in this era, so I don't necessarily know all the pop songs. Mm -hmm. um, so I had some younger, and Eller and Lorelai weren't that much help, actually. Eller was, you know, he was listening to stuff far beyond what an eight, nine, ten-year-old would be listening to. He had much older tastes. So um, I had some consultants I worked with, kids around that age. I was like, well, what do you like? And then I, I called through all this music, and so it kept me, I mean, there, there's some stuff I knew, but I, I actually, it, it made me very current with, you know, that decade of what, you know, super young people would be listening to at certain times. But at some point it reflects the taste of, I'd say, Eller's character, you know, what he's listening to. But, you know, when you're a kid, music just sort of comes at you. It's what your parents or siblings are listening to or what the culture's, what's a hit, you know. But at some point, your own taste kind of takes over. So I wanted it to mirror that. But songs are a powerful um, remembrance, you know. It puts you at a certain place in time, especially for young people. If you're older, you're just like, oh yeah, that, I like Coldplay, yeah, that was sometime in there. But if you're a kid, that song it really hits a spot. To me, that just means, it means early 21st century. So um, I was just lucky to get it. I was lucky to be able to get all this great music. Not much. I got a, I got a super high percentage. And, you know, we're a low-budget film, but I was really grateful that the artists kind of came aboard the project and helped us out. So, um, yeah, there wasn't really, you know, to be, you know, it's like the George Harrison estate was gonna be tough with one, so I just, Sir Paul gave us his song, you know, so it, it worked out great, you know. So, you know, without having score, you still want the music to work in a way that mirrors the feelings of a, of a certain time. So it's a lot of trial and error, actually. You know, you just try to get the music that sets the tone. You know, you can just, you know immediately, you know, you're just, this doesn't work. Or like, oh yeah, that works. That's the fun part. It's like one, really one of the most fun elements of making movies is, is the music. Eller and Lorelai, he, he was, as a kid, you know, his taste, you know, he's listening to Pink Floyd and Radiohead as an eight-year-old, you know, Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> I'm like, well, what are, what are other kids your age listening to? And Lorelai was kind of a medievalist listening to, like, harpsichord music. <laughs> she was a strange kid. <laughs> so neither of them were actually very good when it came to the pop culture of their peers and era. But they eventually got there. I knew it would meld as they got older. So, uh, anyway. Let me go. Hey, stop. Put the barrier. I don't want to be your hero. I don't want to be oh. the big man. I just want to fight with everyone else. You guys ready to have some fun? Yeah! yeah. All right, don't worry about it. Looks like you use the bumpers. You don't want the bumpers. Life doesn't give you bumpers. We have a new student joining us today. Hey, dude. Welcome to the suck. So Mom. Have you been drinking? A little bit. Oh. Hey. What do you want to be, Mason? What do you want to do?